Hello guys, it's Brigadier Child. Um, I know I haven't made a video in ages, I've been on holiday for a week. <coughs> but um, coming back from that holiday I've brought um, a few things that I'm going to review for you. And um, I'm really excited about this. So, I was in Reading for a few weeks, or for a week even. Uh, having a look around the place I'm going to move to. And I dropped into a really great hobby store called uh, Eclectic Games. They have, uh, they're fairly decent, they've got a shell, um, a little bit of wall dedicated to Flames of War. They've got a few interesting books and uh, different blister packs and a, a whole load of box sets. They've even got the early war army sets. Um, but they've just got a really fantastic range of um, games, uh, box sets, um, board, different board games, stuff I've never even seen before. And um, plenty, of, uh, plenty of different paints. Uh, Vallejo, I think I saw some army painter. Uh, different paint brushes. Really, really um, good good uh, good shop to go to. So um, yes, on to the review. So I picked up the British Parachute Rifle Company, or Parachute Company. Uh, I'm going to be playing this as the Air Landing Company from um, Turning Tide, simply because their support options are better. Um, so with, we're looking at um, Pegasus Bridge, uh, Ham and Jam, etc. I think that was the name of the two bridges, Ham and Jam, I can't quite remember. Also, my, my brother is in the Parachute Regiment, he's just got his Red Berry, which uh, I'll actually show you. So, um, this is it, he can never know that I touched it, but he's got his uh, Training Berry. So, it's a little bit of motivation for me, because I was having a tough time choosing between Commandos, because of their shockingly good combat attributes or paras but I opted to go for paras it's in the family my uncle was a para so it's you know there's a kind of it's quite an interesting thing for me to do and I recently watched a bridge too far for the first time and loved it so this box set I think I paid 36 pound for it no 32 pound for it and um, it comes with 106 figures as you can see it comes basically it's the the basic infantry component for your parachute or air landing company. So five command teams, uh, and those will be Sten gun teams. Six Piats. Uh, with an air landing company, you're going to have one extra Piat because you can only take two in your command option here, as opposed to three, which the parachute company will take. Three light mortars, so one for each of your platoons. Uh, an optional flamethrower, which if I can, which is for engineers. And that's fantastic, it's a really cool little model and I definitely want to paint it up and put it on a base. And um, 18 rifle MG teams. So that's the second company sized box set I have bought from, Battle, from Battlefront. And here is the first, which is the German SS Panzer Grenadier Company, which is about 10 quid more expensive. So it's about, oops, sorry. It, and I, I got a stand for the camera, by the way, so less shake for you. So it was it's a fair bit more expensive, but you do get significantly more. You get four HMGs, you get two full platoons, um, three pack 40s, and then you command. So that is a very good box set to be uh, getting on with. And that forms the basis for one of my German companies. And um, yeah, so that's the cover of the box. Fantastic bit of artwork, obviously uh, drawn from a bridge too far there. I was very tempted to buy the Market Garden book, but I thought I've already got Parachute List, it's 15 quid extra. Um, I couldn't quite afford it because I wanted to get something else to go with it. And this is the something else I got. If I just take those out for you. It is a mortar company. Now I haven't got them assembled and I'm not going to spread them out for you right now. Oh sorry, mortar platoon. Um, so that's six three inch mortars which are fairly good mortars and I like them quite a lot. Uh, another reason I'm taking air landing is they can have six as opposed to four mortars and that makes uh, a fair difference in terms of re-rolls when you're firing. But here is the contents of the parachute box or the, the, uh, the parachute company box. And don't worry I will be adding artillery I'm thinking Skytrex 25 pounders. So I'm going to order one set just to see if they're any good. If they are good I'll order a total of eight and then um, a couple of battle battlefront um, command sprues and crews and observers and then a load of bases. So this comes with all your bases here, plenty. And I've divided them up already. So these are my Bren guns. Oops, I'll just focus that up for you. See it? 
fantastic little model, the brain gun. Um, you see it in a bridge too far, top loading, 30, 30 round magazine. Um, quite a slow rate of fire, very powerful, incredibly accurate. Um, it was a really good gun and it was a favourite of the parachute regiment and the Royal Marines. And generally it provided the, the um, base of fire for the British Army. Because it, it was um, a lot of control, because it was a slow rate of fire. The men were able to fire off one shot at a time if they liked. So this is one of your command, command models. Obviously I haven't gotten rid of the flash. There's a little bit of flash, but you know, you can see if he's... Sorry, it's a bit blurry. He's got a pistol. He's, he's got everything else. Um, just focus that up properly for you. There we go. So in here are SMG models. So lots and lots and lots of Sten guns. Riflemen. There's plenty of those, they're uh, .303 rifles, bolt action rifle, uh, there was a big focus on marksmanship in the British Army, especially in the Marines and the Parachute Regiment, so um, they could put out a huge amount, of, you know, 15 shots a minute from each man, and they were very, very accurate shots in the, um, like I say, the, the Parachute Regiment and the Marines, uh, and that rifle saw use until the um, 50s and 60s. It's a very good weapon. Here we have the light mortars and their loaders and we have the Piat teams in there and their loaders. Piat was not a very good anti-tank weapon. In the game it's perfectly good, it's fine. It's I think it's tank assault 5 as opposed to tank assault 6 um, for some of the German anti-tank infantry weapons. But, you know, it's not bad. It's pretty good and it's cheap as well. It's 20 points per Piat as opposed to 30 something points per Panzer Shrek, and they're everywhere. You can get loads of them. Not quite as not quite as frequent as the bazookas, but still pretty damn good. And there's you know you can't go wrong with it. So plenty of Bren guns for my rifle MG teams, plenty of riflemen, plenty of Sten gunners, and your support weapons. So I will get that all assembled for you, and I might do a paint tutorial. See how I go. And then I'll show you it all when it's all done and painted up. So that's that's me sorted for the next few weeks. Hopefully I'll be able to get some 17 pounders and some 6 pounders uh, over the next couple of months. And um, yeah, uh, I'll also be putting up a video reviewing a Wargaming magazine that I really, really like. And that I think is well worth buying for anyone interested in historical Wargaming in general. So um, yeah, that's been uh, my little unboxing of the British Parachute Company and the British Air Landing Mortar Platoon. Um, more videos will be coming up. I'm going to film quite a few now and just throw them up. won't edit them because I'm a bit short on time, but I'll throw them up and hopefully you'll enjoy viewing them and listening to my voice. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.